Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the six at six. Time for the six at six. I'm up first here with number six. Some dating red flags to look out for during the holiday season. Okay, so this time of year for new couples like being put into a pressure cooker, dating experts say extra clingy behavior and over-the-top romantic gestures are among major red flags to look out for. The holidays should be a relaxing time for couples, and anyone who makes unrealistic demands of your time could be an indicator of a future clingy partner. As for green flags, the most positive sign of a good character in a new partner is a willingness to negotiate difficult family dynamics. Very mm. true. All of it very true. Right. Okay, good. Number five, a lot of seasonal work ends after the holidays, but there are still plenty of ways to make a few extra bucks. Keep this in mind, Mortis. You can okay. post on apps like <laughs> Nextdoor to offer up your services to take down holiday what? decorations. I know you like climbing out of ladders. <laughs> or if you're good at keeping people motivated, try helping people accomplish their New Year's resolutions like cleaning out their house or sticking to their fitness goals. Uh -huh. You can also offer your handyman services for our home improvement projects or clearing out snow, which we have not had any of so mm -hmm. far. I would season. not be good at any of those. I yeah. need somebody to help me. Yeah. You want Many some, of those You want things. to yell at you and get you motivated? I do. I need that sometimes. I will keep that in mind. Okay. Fair Great. Enough. Thanks, Mike. Uh, number four here. We have found what could be the perfect omelet to cure a hangover. Nutritionists say it's best to eat a vitamin and antioxidant-packed breakfast within 90 minutes of waking up to get blood sugar levels back to normal. To do this, make an omelet with three eggs, avocado, feta, tomatoes, mushrooms, and olive oil. The eggs help detoxify the liver, while mushrooms have liver-supporting B vitamins and avocados have nutrient-rich fat. Feta has B12 vitamins for an energy boost, while both tomatoes and olive oil have anti-inflammatory properties. Okay. Sounds like a pretty good omelet. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Number three, your winter coat is filthy. You may not realize it, and you're not alone. According to a recent study, one in five people say they wash their winter jackets once a year, but most admit they don't wash their outerwear at all. Laundry expert Sarah Dempsey, a laundry expert. That's okay, right, that could they be a have nice, those. <laughs> nice side hustle there. Good friends with her. Uh, she says that wool coats should be washed once a year to keep them fresh, but once a year is good enough. The material is self-cleaning. It contains mm. keratin, which kills odor-causing bacteria. If you've got quilted jackets or parkas, they should be washed twice every season. Just double-check the laundry instructions there on the label. These types of coats tend to be worn daily and used more often than others, so washing them is important to get rid of germs and pollutants, especially if you use public transportation. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I always find that once they get the salt on the that's, coat, yeah. that's usually... They rub against your car, you know? Yeah. Yeah, right? it's always nice, right? Mm -hmm. You know, number two... The confetti that rains down to celebrate the new year hasn't always been bits of colored paper. People used to toss nuts, Ooh. hops, raisins, figs, and dates into the air. Italians even used to toss sugar-covered almonds. But kids would often scramble to pick up the food. It would also become sticky and was difficult to clean up after. The nuts were also even known to occasionally poke out an eye. Ooh. That caused protective wire masks to become essential gear at some celebrations. But in the 1890s, paper confetti came to the rescue. Not only was it less painful and sticky, the strips of paper also had the benefit of longer hang time. Yeah. It's always nice for you to just throw your trash out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, number one here. It's been nearly two years since we lost Betty White. So let's look back at when she was on the show community. What is it exactly that separates man from animal? Divorce. Tools. Like this blowgun I used to hunt monkeys with a carubo in the Amazon. My name is Professor June Bauer, and this semester I will guide you to the very threshold of your humanity. The tool most important to humanity's survival wasn't any of the nine in the box. Go on. The most important tool is respect. That's my answer, Professor. Hmm. Well, that's one answer. 
Here's the one I had in mind. Combining all nine tools, you get this. <laughs> a deadlier weapon than any one item in the box. So, I'm gonna use this to attack you, and you use respect to defend yourself. Uh, oh, uh. <laughs> Why you fail? Oh, amazing. This is amazing. Uh, <laughs> legendary. Mm -hmm. uh, she's great. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see mostly cloudy skies today. And okay. it looks like temperatures will make it around 43 degrees.